My sewing plans for spring summer 2019. My first project is going to be my take on a caftan top. That's coming up. I'm Colleen G. Lee and I do sewing techniques, refashioning old or new clothing and sewing lookbooks and if you're interested in that sort of thing consider subscribing and let's get started. So I am going to be making as I've said a caftan, a caftan top and um, my take on the caftan top and this is what I'm using so I'm using this is kind of the underlining for this fabric because this is fabric is it's a little bit transparent but also one of the reasons the main reason is because it's quite dull on its own so I want the colors to pop a little bit more so I'm using the white in order as you can see that just makes it pop make this colors pop so I will be using all of the fabric as well so that's what I'm going to show you now and I'm also going to be freehand cutting this as well so let's start with the white fabric and the stage I'm at now is that I have trimmed the selvage of the of both of the fabrics just to give it a nice crisp edge and no jagged edges and then the next thing I'll need to do then is to work with the white fabric first because I'll show you it's not even so I've got a big chunk here as you can see so that finishes there and all the rest are finishing relatively even well that really doesn't matter because I just want to know I just want to use all of the fabric and because I'm wearing it with jeans it isn't a problem for me that it isn't even so I'm going to work with what I have and I'll, obviously I'll show you the results afterwards just, so. this is where my neck is my neck bone is and I'm going to measure it across there so I want it to come roughly about here to here So I've got a pin, I did say it was nine. I'm going to come in to eight, which is about 20 centimeters there. I'm gonna put a pin in there. And I bought it, um, I'm gonna turn it this way so that I can cut. I'm just gonna do a, a small scoop And I'm doing a small scoop because I just want to make sure that I'm happy with the amount that I'm taking away and then I take it off to nothing. So how much I'm taking away so it's not a lot. okay right so I'm going to take the pin out then I'm going to quickly just throw it over my head and see how happy I am with that I'm just going to so there we are just quickly throw it over what I'm wearing yeah I'm happy with that that's fine I just need to do the same with the the other one and overlay it I was thinking about scooping it a bit more, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just happy with the way it is. And if I was going to scoop it, I would scoop the front and I wouldn't scoop the back. But no, no, I'm happy with that. I think that looks nice. Okay, the white and the patterned fabric is now done. I've cut both the necklines. So the next thing to do then is to open up this one and then put this on top 
like so. Let's find that neckline. Here we go. It isn't an easy project really. And I'm just using the fabric as it comes with, it, with all its flaws as I've shown you. Put up in there. And another pin. And they've both got their different characteristics because the white will roll a lot more. That's looking all right. So the next step I want to do is I want to keep them together and the best mess I can think of for the sleeve area here is to just do a stitch line from a neckline to halfway on the sleeve so that is what I'll do on both on both of those both ends of those just to keep it in place so there isn't much movement and to make them almost like one one piece of fabric and then I do the same on this side this is fun sewing no neatening of seams or edges if all sewing projects could be like this eh <laughs> I'll just put a pin there for the time being. So just make, I'll, I'll just make sure those are even before I take it to the sewing machine. So what I'm going to do then is just sew from that point to that point there so that it's kind of staying on the shoulder and then it's doing what it needs to do once it's ha when it drops from the shoulder and it, you know it's no longer attached um, there. I was no, nah, I, I don't think I will sew the net lines. I think I'll keep them separate, but I need to try it on first to see if that works. If I do need to sew the net line, then I will do. That wouldn't be a problem. So I've sewn the shoulder. Let me just show you. Use white stitching, and I've just show sewed it together so it becomes kind of one if that makes sense so that there's, there isn't going to be much movement or separation from the top fabric to the bottom fabric I did, I've done it on both sides so the shoulders are now intact and I'm happy with that um, I haven't sewn the neckline don't feel the need to um, I'm kind of happy the way it hangs it wants to do its own thing so I'm gonna let it do its own thing and um, I'm now folding it in half so that I can sew, take the measurement for sewing down the side seams for this, sewing down the sides. So make sure that's in half. Okay. I have put it over my head a couple of times and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy the way it's falling at the moment. So we're going to need the measurement for your hip. It's best to go for your hip measurement rather than your waist measurement because more often than not your hips are bigger than your waist or whichever it is the biggest. Let's put it that way. Whichever is the biggest part, your hips or your waist. So the next I'm going to have to decide Right, so we need to have an opening for the arms, which is going to be here. Um, and this is just guessing, really. Um, let's say 10 inches, 28, 25 and a half centimeters. I'm going to go for when you work in this way, it's a case of sewing in, trying on, and sewing and trying on. So that's where my stitching is going to start. So my arms can come out at this level here. 
and take your biggest measurement whether that is your waist or your hips and let's see right so and remember to add ease um, I don't want it close fitting to me so the ease will depend and like I said the best thing to do is perhaps put pins in or you know do a basting stitch and try it on and see how happy you are and if it's too you know too loose then you can take it in and if it's too tight then you can take it out so that'll probably be the best thing to do but I am going to go for let me see I'm going to go for 23 centimeters let's see I'm going to go there and if you need to take it in any further then I will do if not then that's fine so this is where I will start my stitching so I'll stitch all the way I won't go all the way to the bottom actually I'll probably stop about here we'll just put a pin in there to indicate um, I don't think it will make that much difference and then so I'll uh, two rows of stitching I need to do and then it will be done the top will be done and then I can model it for you so you can see how it falls on my body and I can show you the back and the front so you can see how the fabric is working on my body okay my top is now complete so let me just do a recap I stitched the shoulders The line of stitching on each side so that just keeps the fabrics together so there isn't sep separation between the top layer and the bottom layer bottom layer so that's what I did so took it to my sewing machine opened it out flat and then did a row of stitching that way and also on the other side and for the sides I sewed through all thickness so as you saw in the previous section is that I pinned straight down just took it to the sewing machine just stitched from one end to the other sewing through all thicknesses and there you have a simple tunic no not tunic it's a kaftan style top so now you'll be able to see me model it see how I style it and model it I said I'll be wearing it with white jeans um I did take it in a little bit more I did try it on and it was a bit more it's a bit looser than what I would like so I did take it in just a bit a little bit more but it is quite um loose but it really is all dependent on what you are looking for in your fit and like I said try it on so it's a, this project is a case of trying it on seeing how fitted you want it to be and then go ahead and base stitch and then machine sew so what i'll do is i'll leave some links in the description for those of you who do not know how to base stitch but yeah i'm happy with that so i will sh let me just show you the section where see this is this is this is a section of my fabric where uh, it wasn't enough I just went with what the amount of fabric that I had I've got none left I'm happy about that and yeah this is going to go towards the back so the front is going to be okay and I actually I might have it towards the front you never know yeah because I did when I was trying it on I was thinking hmm, I probably could have this at the front as well so yeah there we go there is my kaftan top
don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next episode where I think I'll be making the, um, I might go for the white blouse. I know my previous video I said I would do the mushroom coloured asymmetrical top, but maybe the white blouse. But um, yeah, not sure. You're going to have to watch the next episode. I'll see you then.